Hey there everyone, this is Danielle. Last time we got a bunch of the minor moons in Tostarina, including the two Strange Neighborhood mo moons, which were very hard to get because of the way Strange Neighborhood works, specifically the fact that it's capless. As usual, capless areas are the most difficult for our run because we basically lose all air control. <laughs> uh, so for now, we're going to be looking around to see what other moons we can get. Uh, I believe we have most of the minor moons on offer here, but there should be a few more we can gather before we continue to the B-side moons, which we have not enabled yet. This is still all A-side stuff we're doing. Uh, let me think. I might want to just go talk to Talker to and get a reminder. Okay, there's another bird over here, which we haven't talked, we haven't gotten yet. So. The bird here in the Moai habitat, or whatever it's called. That one I think you're just supposed to drop down on, from above. Since um, there's all those invisible bridges and stuff, it's pretty easy to do. Just make your way up, using this little ledge here. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh -huh. Okie doke. Where's the birdie gone now? Where's that birdie gone now? Oh, it's all over there. Oh, maybe it's the same bird. I don't know if it's a different bird or not. Hmm. I'm thinking it's probably the same bird because there isn't one over here now. And that one's going to the town, which means it's probably the one we already did. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> uh, let's grab all of these. Let's grab all of these. Let me think. Where have we not done? Hmm. We got that one on top of the pyramid last time. We got that one last time. We might just want to go talk to Talker to and see what they suggest. Uh, because I'm having some trouble remembering what other moons we need to do here. Uh, Glidon's here. We haven't used Glidon yet. Maybe we need to? I can't say anything we'd need to glide to. Um, that's the other way to get that moon, by gliding. But Glidon only shows up when you've done the story, so same problem as before, basically. Uh, that moon we already got. You can get it by jumping out of the power line at the right time, if you haven't gotten it already. But we got it already, so there you go. Uh, that one we can't get, because we can't uncrouch in order to activate the cutscene. Okay, here we go. Huh. Okay, I thought I would do a cap bounce then, but I didn't. Maybe you can't cap bounce after escaping from a capture. No clue. Uh, anyway, here's the bird. Let's see what Talker 2 suggests. Secret path to Tostarina. So that one is up there, and we have to go to another kingdom to do it. So I'll prefer a different one, if you don't mind. Dancing with new friends. That's the one that you get by going into that room wearing this outfit, but we can't get it. So let's talk to the bird again, among the five cactuses. I believe we can do that one. I just gotta remember where the five cactuses are. Um, so yeah, there are a lot of cacti, the plural is cacti. Come on. <laughs> there are a lot of cacti around. If you, this is, you know, it's a traditional sort of desert area. There is a group of five here somewhere. I just. I think it's this direction, along the edge here. Uh, we already got that one. I think it's over here. So yeah, as a... You can, you can break the little cactus by throwing Cappy at them, but to break the tall ones, you absolutely need to use the Jaxi instead, because the Jaxi is, like, immune to cacti and can smash them all down. Uh, I think over here, maybe, is where the five cact cacti are. Yes! Yeah, so, yeah, you just break all those apart, and there's a moon inside. And you have to use a jaxi to do it. And the moon is right on the edge of the world, so don't fall off. Yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness, how many is that? That's 58. Okay. I know that there's at least one that's impossible, and there's a bunch you won't be able to do just yet, but we'll be able to later. Head back to, I guess let's head back to Talker 2 and ask again because 
yeah, the other two moons that they've mentioned we can't do yet. Um, let me see, we already did that one. We already did the timer challenge here. Uh, we already did this walking one. We can't get up there yet. Uh, we already did the slots. We already did most stuff, really. I mean, yeah, we have like, 11 rooms to go. We've gotten 58 of them. Under the Mummy's Curse. Oh, right! I forgot about that. Uh, basically, what happens is once you've... I think you have to have cleared the, cleared the entire like game story to do it, but when you come back here after doing Tostarina's story, and possibly the whole game story as well, you can go back to the area where you fight Handman, Knucklotech or whatever it is. I think it's Knucklotech. Uh, and you can just go down that hole again, and when you visit for a second time, there'll be some other stuff to do. So, you just drop down the hole. Like that. Uh, the Jaxi won't come with us, even though we brought a Jaxi, which is a bit sad. There we go. So, this area here, which is where there used to be the boss, there's now a bunch of these guys. Um, you can grab a coin coffer here if you want, just get some money. Uh, but the reason to actually come down here is because one of these... Mummies here has a moon, and you just gotta make your way over to where the right one is. I think it's on this side. I think they're over here. Um, but the, the correct one sparkles a bit, so you can see which one it is. That one, see? Um, that one giving off the sparkles is the one we have to knock out. And as you can see, yeah, the, these mummies are not actually defeated by Cappy. And if Mario jumps on them, he goes through. So they're very dangerous enemies. Um, you can defeat them by jumping on them, but you go through and then the other ones around can hit you instead of bouncing off. Which is quite scary. Uh, so now we've done that, we want to go up here. So there's some coins up there. Yeah, we can get up there, but not right now. Oh, this isn't here yet. Okay. I guess this happens after you open the moon rock. Um, basically, this is where the binding band is supposed to be. The binding band will be put back here after... I think when you open the moon rock. Um, and then you can get a moon out of it. Because everything is full of moons in this game. This is the game where everything is moons. Uh, we already got everything in the temple, I think. There was a moon up there. Um, there's some other moons over there, but we, I think we got them all. So, I'm just going to warp us back to town. Because getting out of this temple is a hassle. <laughs> Here we are back in Tostarina. Uh, I mean, we were in Tostarina, but this is Tostarina Town. Kind of weird that they didn't give all of these areas, like, all the towns separate names. I think the only one that got a name is Peronza Plaza. Kind of weird. Uh, top of a dune. Oh, we can get that? Okay, cool. Um, basically, just one of the dunes over in this area. You still have ground pound on it. And there's a moon inside. I think it's that one there. Hang on, there's something rumbling here. Oh, it's just hard. Okay. I think it's this dune here. You just have to climb up to the top. And when you're standing at the top of the dune, you feel a rumble on the controller. Obviously, you can't tell that that's happening because I'm the one holding the controller. But you just do a ground pound and there's a ba ba dum ba Yeah! And that's three. Uh, there's the moon rock in Tostarina. It's not hard to find, but we won't be opening it just yet. Uh, I can't do dancing with new friends. That might be all we can do for now. Since is still suggesting it. Let me have a quick look. What are we still missing? And some new friends. Secret path to Tostarina. There's a few more at the bottom here. I know one of them can only be gotten from the um, from the from the Jaxi. Hmm. I think that might be all we can do without opening the moon rock. Okay, I guess this will be a short video then, because we're only ten minutes in, and we're out of moons to collect. Um. Because, yeah, we can't do Dancing with New Friends. You have to not be crouching to activate the cutscene for it. So we won't be getting that moon. Um, the secret path to Tostarina we can get, and we'll be getting later. But you have to go somewhere else to get it, so we won't get it straight away. Uh, 
Let me just think for a second. Um, yeah, I think I think that's about all we can do in current Foster Arena. We might need to just end the video now. Jeez, that's surprising. I thought there was still more left than there are because of the numbers, but maybe I was wrong. Um, yeah, I'll come on in. Boop. It might be because of the story, like we finished the story while while here in the post game. I don't think it quite resets everything it's supposed to until you're up in the moon rock. Uh, we already bought the moon here. There's a bunch of outfits and stuff you can buy. We're not too concerned about most of them. There's a few that you need to get moons. Uh, you need that doctor outfit, which we haven't finished unlocking. You need a couple of others, but we're not too worried about that for now. Uh, we do need this cowboy outfit, so we will be buying that right now. Uh, we'll be using that quite sh quite soon, actually. Uh, although maybe not in this video, because this is the video where we do a very small amount of moons in this kingdom, and then realize that we've done more than I thought we had done. <laughs> anyway, yeah, cowboy Mario, there we go. Uh, not much we can do with it here, but there is a place where we will need this costume. So it's good to have it in our arsenal of, of costumes that we can wear. Uh, there we go. Uh, if I talk to Talker 2 again, he might mention a different moon. I don't know how long it takes him to switch to a different moon after saying one of them. Grand with new friends. Okay, I have a feeling that means we're kind of stuck at this point until we open the moon rock. Alright, um, I'm just going to grab a couple more coins here and we're going to call out a video, I reckon. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching me grab a very small number of relatively easy moons from this kingdom. Which ones were they again? I don't remember. Um, but they weren't very hard. Top of the Dune was one of them. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. We just did some pretty easy ones, basically. Um. Anyway, that's uh, that's it. That's us. That's that's me garbling my words for now. Uh, next time we'll be opening that rock and doing the B side of Trust Arena. So stay tuned for really difficult areas that I have a lot of trouble with because that's what happens when you open a moon rock. <laughs>